Hey, welcome back to another Best of AI video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use this new tool called Pika Labs to turn your images into videos. It's gonna be really exciting, so let's get right into it. The first thing is you're gonna to go to Pika Labs and the website is pika.art. So you're gonna go there and you're gonna click on join beta. Just like Midjourney, you'll need to add this to Discord. So you're going to need a Discord account for this. So just make sure you have one. When you click on join beta, it's going to prompt you to add that bot into your Discord account. Once you add that to your account, you will be prompted to read the rules and just the getting started of how this all works. So just make sure that you read through that. That's because there's a lot of different things that you're going to be able to do. What I'm going to show you though are two ways that you can use Pika. The first way is by uploading an image. So by using Midjourney to create the image and then uploading that to Pika. And then the second way is actually creating the video inside of Pika. Okay. So let's actually start by going to ChatGPT. And I actually made a video um, talking about this, but there's a plugin called Photo Realistic. I'll put the video up top. But basically, what this plugin allows you to do is improve your prompts for AI generated images. So, what I'm going to do is just click on new chat. I'm just going to make sure that I have the plugin enabled. Photo Realistic, there you go. Um, and I'm just going to say a pizza in a restaurant on a table. Okay. Please improve using photorealistic. All right, and now what it's going to do is basically take this little prompt that I have here and really expand it and make it 10 times better. So you'll see what that looks like in a moment. So here we go. It's gonna give us two prompt options. Uh, the first one is here. So it's going to give us basically the type of style that we want the image to be, what camera we could potentially use, the lens, the lighting, what's the scenario, the setup going to look like. So it really goes into detail of what the prompt will be. And like I said, it gives you two. So depending on which one you want, you can kind of see which one gives you the best output. So I'm gonna select the first one though, just because it's the first one. I'm gonna go to mid journey here and I'm just gonna click imagine. And once we have that image, I'm going to save it and then upload it into Pika. So let's see what mid journey creates. Okay, we're back. So let's see what mid journey created. So we have these four images here and um, I kind of like, let's see, I kind of like the first one. So what we can do here is upscale that and then it will upscale it obviously. And then let's actually just open this up and oh, we can just save it. So I'm gonna save this image. And now once you have Pika set up, you're gonna go to Pika and inside of any of these channels down here. So generate one through 10, you can now use slash and you can see here there's animate and then there's create. So let's just do animate because that's what we're going to upload the image to. So I'm gonna click animate and then I'm gonna upload that image that I just created. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to click on enter and it's going to basically turn that image into a video for us. All right, so the video is done. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So let's replay it. Nice. Pretty cool. I mean, you can definitely get a bit more creative in terms of the prompting. Maybe you wanted smoke rising from the pizza. You get the idea. Let's actually showcase the create option. So in Pika, we'll do the same thing. We'll just do um, slash create. And what I'll do is I will, we'll do another one here. So let's just say, instead of a pizza, let's say a um, French fries frying in oil. All right, please improve this prompt. All right, so we'll do the same thing and we'll use photorealistic to kind of give us that prompt. And we will just copy this one. Sweet. And let's go back to Pika and just add that prompt. And we'll wait and see what it gives us. All right, so we got our video, let's take a look. So you can see here that if I widescreen this, here we go, we got our fries and they are definitely cooking in some oil. So that's pretty cool. The cool thing is that you can definitely get some interesting things. If you just scroll through here, you can see what other people are doing with their different prompts and you can get a better idea of what it looks like. 
Some people don't add any other thing. They just add the image and let AI do its thing. That might be a good play for you as well. Just let AI do most of the heavy lifting so you don't have to worry about the prompt. But this is just a cool way to turn your images into video. Now, there's other tools like Runway out there, but Pika is interesting because you can actually change the frame rate per second. So you can use other prompting skills to make that video smoother depending on what you're trying to create. And if you have multiple videos, you can actually piece those together. So maybe use Runway in collaboration with Pika and of course Midjourney to create these really cool storyboards or storylines for something that you're trying to create. I just wanted to showcase this tool just because I found it and I think it's really useful for creators like myself and maybe you. That's it for this video. Let me know if you guys like this or if you want more tutorials using Pika and Midjourney. I would love to do some more. Just give me some ideas. Put the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe so you know when my latest videos drop on this channel. And go to bestofai.com so you can browse over 7,000 AI tools just like Pika. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.